you know, we're talking about trust here. Yeah. Seth Rollins. Can you trust Seth Rollins? Absolutely not. Partner? Absolutely not. No. All right. Shall we start it off? Let's start. Let's raise start. your hand if you have main evented WrestleMania. Now raise your hand if you've main evented WrestleMania and won. There it goes. The interview well, takes a takes a turn. Okay, okay. Uh, raise your hand if you have faced Snoop Dogg at WrestleMania and lost. Right. Um, true or false? My suit game is stronger than yours. I'll be completely honest with you. As of today, in this look with the three piece and everything that's going on, yours is stronger. Thank Congrats, you. That's the Thank winner you. on suit game. Thank Does it mean always? Suit game's an evolving thing. It really is. It's a battle By every way, time you get Not here. a bad suit game. I mean, this looks fantastic. Thank you. This looks fantastic. Thank you. Very we, a, we, we, can agree, work here. we can agree that we look fantastic. We look like champions. We look like superstars. Also, not to derail this for NBCU, and perhaps you agree, perhaps you disagree. If you're one of those guys who is a, intimidated by somebody in a suit, you're the worst. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, I get it if you don't want to wear a suit. Yeah. But nothing about a suit should go, ugh, ugh. I, that guy's politic. No, it's work. It's I, a job. I Dress thought, for the job. When I first started, I thought like I would be that guy. I'd be like, oh, I don't want to wear a suit. Uh, when you're a kid, you don't ever want to wear a suit. Yeah. Now, it makes me feel like something a little more. It makes me feel like I'm ready for business. Let's go. Let's do some things. I would say, I told people last year, I wear a suit not because I think I'm somebody, but because I want to be somebody. Speaking of, you mentioned uh, how far you've come. You mentioned main eventing WrestleMania. Do you remember the first time I ever saw you in action? No. Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Oh my God. OBW. Really? <laughs> I, uh, I literally had not watched the match prior, and I came out. The crowd was losing their mind. Two hundred people, which was a very respectable house for You're Elizabeth. You're not going to go with this story. Town, and he put a helmet on, like a motorcycle helmet, motorcycle helmet, y'all. And he did like a cannonball off the top. Dude, it was I, it was honestly I people loved it. I by the way, you still remember this, and you're yeah. the only person that remembers this. I thought it would be a cool thing, like I, if I would. Do, and by the way, do you remember the move I would do off the top rope? Yeah, it was like a Ray Stevens. It was a whoopee cushion. Whoopee cushion. Yep, yep. It yep. was a whoopee cushion. I would put That's a cool. helmet on and go cannonball, thinking that the crowd. I could see millions of people just yelling cannonball and then doing a whoopee cushion. Yelling no though. one did it. Dude, in Elizabeth Town was into it though. Was. In fairness, yeah. So let's get back to WrestleMania. WrestleMania. Who besides you is going to break the budget for Pyro? I'm going to guess Jade. You think so? Yeah, just because uh, from the school of uh, we like we like Pyro. We like the pomp and circumstance. You know, there are some guys and girls who just all they need is to walk out there. Thank you. And yeah, thank okay. you. Awesome. I've always, but by the way, yeah. I've always wanted pyro. Like I, I have it. I've had it like for maybe like four matches of my life. Yeah. But I've wanted that big, humongous pyro. What does it feel like? So what it feels like is, you know how it goes here, especially as we're doing this interview right now. You have times when you're at an absolute high, and then you have times when you're just exhausted. And mm -hmm. WrestleMania is this battle of endurance. The whole week, WrestleMania World, the Pat McAfee Show, First Take, Today, all the media bites, everything you're doing, when you get there, you want to be on the high. You want to be on the up. Sometimes that isn't the case. But you're exhausted I, from the week. Exactly. I can tell you with me, that pyro, there's no way you can be Wait, on yeah. a, you've got to be at an 11, always. And every time the first one blasts, it's just, it's very, uh, it, it, it makes me know it's go time. But speaking yeah. of waking up, mm. Rock mentioned your dog. Yes, yes, yes. yes Called yes. him, what, a goofy ass dog? Yeah, I think that's the terminology. Pharaoh. Yes, Pharaoh. We, if you know how to touch your heart, it's yeah. with going after Pharaoh. Yeah, he's the best of me. What, yeah. do you, what do you think about Rock going after your dog? Well, I think he's a little, like, I think he's a little different in a sense that if, Rock had showed up to my house, home invasion style, and gone after Pharaoh. Maybe my concern is different. However, Rock chose to do this in one of his Instagram manifestos that he was delivering, and there's so much content to unpack in those. I am embroiled in a rivalry with The Rock in this current moment, and even I cannot, I cannot watch 17 minutes of, 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 uh, of a male Karen yelling about things that he, that really shouldn't bother you. And this is like, you'll see there's people out there in the crowd tonight who are chanting Rocky Sucks, who are wearing a Rock shirt. 
They don't not love you, Rock. It's just the how you are, the way you are. It's just really the uh, the issue of now. Pharaoh, on the other hand, he would be the ultimate judge of character because he's only ever disliked one wrestler. Oh, really? So if he met if he met the Rock and disliked him, then you'd know Rock was definitely garbage. It was not me. He always you. seems to like me. It was Sami Zayn. What? I think so. I might the lore might have. Uh, Sami not a dog person? I don't know. Maybe a cat guy. Speaking of the Rock, you you had a couple of encounters with the Great One, with the People's Champion. Uh, any any advice for me? I don't think you need advice. I think you're ready. I think you're prepared. Yeah. I think you've been preparing for this ever since I first saw your first match at OVW when you said, this is my first match, I've never had a match before. And then literally, we're doing cartwheels and arm drags and hip tosses. And this is not what a person that the first time ever stepping into a wrestling ring knows how to do. So you basically worked this all at OVW and then watching you progress and literally take everything, every time you were given something, you were able to make it into something more than it even should have been. Mm. You made a mustache and chest hair into something. <laughs> do you remember that? I do. Like, that was so ridiculous, and I was just like, that is such great heat. You, uh, you mentioned taking something, everything you're given, yeah. making the most of it, maximizing it. Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention, obviously, that you're someone who's done the same, but your tag team partner, Truth, mm -hmm. is the master. Master. Of, if you count him out, if you count Truth out, and then he appears on Monday Night Raw. He's got you. He is just a master at staying, not only staying in phenomenal shape, he's ageless, but staying on the cusp of what the sports entertainment side of pro wrestling is. Do you and R-Truth have a plan for WrestleMania? I'm going off of truth, to be honest. Mm. It, you, you have to be open-minded whenever you're tagging with truth because you have to understand that you never know what he's going to do or when he's going to do it, but you have to be able to play off of it whether you're an opponent or a tag team partner. Yeah. And as a tag team partner, it's very beneficial because nobody knows what he's going to do. Well, out the gate, I'll just ask you yes or no, can you trust our truth 100%. Mm. You can trust our truth to be successful. Because okay. he's been successful. How long has he been here for? Seven years. Exactly, a million years, and he's been successful I'll at I'll tell you a little it. side you, story okay. that you guys are probably gonna edit out, but you don't have to. There was a character here named Stardust, and Stardust lost a legitimate, this is a legitimate stat, 42 times to our truth So whoever, whoever portrayed that character, finishing the story may not just be winning the WWE Championship. Finishing the story might be defeating our truth whoever that was, just plugging that in. Choose to, choose to keep it, choose to edit it out, whatever, you know, whatever you want. But I'm just putting that out there for the so universe. You know, we're talking about trust here. Yeah. Seth Rollins, can you trust Seth Rollins? Absolutely as not, partner? absolutely not. No? I can, I can trust he's gonna be a great tag team partner. I cannot trust Seth Rollins. The same guy who shook my hand, told me we had a great match, and then hit me in a, you know, with a sledgehammer in the back and I was out for seven months. It's the same Seth Rollins who cashed in at WrestleMania. The same Seth Rollins who hit the chair on the shield and turned on his brothers, all that. He doesn't need to like me. He could even hate me, but I know he hates Roman Reigns more. And I know, like you know, Roman Reigns and The Rock, we see them as these two separate entities. They are not in a sense that the bloodline is a unit. And the last time there was something that powerful and that, that much of a threat to the locker room, I'm talking the Four Horsemen, the NWO, the Authority, you can't have that. You can't have it. They'll either eat each other alive or we'll take care of them at WrestleMania. One more for me. Yeah. How about this? The Raw after WrestleMania. What can we expect? Oh, I gotta go. They're calling me. Oh. There you go. New Universal Champion. Tag Team Champions. Let's go. Let's do it, baby. See you there. Mm -hmm.